Hey you guys, my name is Jeff. Welcome and or welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about ETFs and I want to show you a really cool analogy that I came up with to give you an idea of what an ETF is like. Now, I've got right here some baseball cards. And what's really cool about these, some of you may or may never have actually seen what packs of baseball cards look like. But these are baseball cards that I got back when I was a kid. And I have the willpower not to open these up. I just bought them and I held them. I literally put them in some boxes and put them away and never opened them. Now, here we are, these are 1987 Topps baseball cards. I'll let you do the math, but 87 to 2022 seems like about 35 years to me. So there is a 35 year old piece of gum in this pack, and then there are 17 bubble gum cards, 17 cards. Now what's interesting about this is it's kind of like an ETF, because an ETF, is a wrapper or a package just like this has a package it's a has a wrapper like see and it's holding a whole bunch of different things in it in this case it's holding a bunch of different baseball cards and a stick of chewing gum that is literally 35 years old uh, i am not gonna lie this is not gonna be something that i eat but if you're curious what 35 year old gum looks like, to some of the people watching this video, this chewing gum is older than you are. So here are the cards. Now, why I say that a pack of baseball cards like these cards is kind of like an ETF is an ETF is comprised of a wrapper like this wrapper. This was the package it was in and it holds a bunch of stuff. And with an ETF, it's holding a bunch of different stocks. Now I'll tell you this, 1987 tops. I, I remember baseball back then and I, I know enough about these cards. There are a couple of cards in this particular set, in these packs, that are worth hundreds of dollars. One of them happens to be Barry Bonds' rookie card and the other one is Bo Jackson. Now the chances that they're in this pack are very slim. But if they were, they would be worth a lot of money, especially if they're in really good condition. So I'm gonna read through these. I'm not gonna take a whole long time, but I also, you know, just show you what a baseball card looks like. So it's hard to look at these and show them to you at the same time, but I'm at least showing you some of the different baseball players. That guy's on the Mariners, this guy's on the Braves, Phillies, this guy's on the California Angels, now the Anaheim Angels. But we're going through here and I'm just gonna quickly go through and take a look at them. Did not get the Barry Bonds nor the Bo Jackson card, but that's okay, that's kinda how it goes. Now, with ETFs, it's kinda similar in that, you know, an ETF will hold a bunch of stocks and you may have those superstars in the ETF. In our world, that might be, for example, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Tesla, Nvidia, Berkshire Hathaway, and on and on. But uh, you know, there are also a lot of supporting players, just like on a baseball team. You need a shortstop, a second baseman, a pitcher, a catcher, an outfielder. Well, same thing in baseball cards. Uh, I have not opened up, here's a 1986 pack. I have not opened up one of these packs in a long time. And I'm gonna quickly open this one up just to show you. So this one here is, whoa, 36 years old. Amazing. There's an even older piece of gum. Look at that, it is literally stuck to the card. And we will take a look at these cards here. There's one of them, there's another, there's another. That's funny, I remember that this guy has my birthday. Stuff I remember from being a kid. There's a Blue Jay. So I'm flipping through these and are there any awesome players in this deck? No. I looked at them all. But you know what? 
That's kind of the point. You know, with ETFs, you're not trying to hit the home run and get the awesome all-star. And you know, I've got, I've actually got several more packs here. And so there's a good chance I might get one of those really superstar players. But the thing is, you don't go for the home runs. And with investing in ETF, you just want to buy it and hold it. Now these cards, I'm like I'm showing you, I've got a whole bunch of them and I was able to buy these for 35 cents a pack back in the day. And I've held these. And I will tell you this because I've opened these over the years whenever I feel like it, whenever I'm curious or interested. And every now and then I do hit upon an incredible baseball or basketball player or football player. And sometimes you never knew when you bought them how much the value of their cards would appreciate. We're talking about basketball players like Larry Bird, uh, hockey players like Wayne Gretzky, and uh, baseball players like Ricky Henderson, for example. So some of you may understand baseball cards, but if you don't, maybe you've been, you know, bought Pokemon cards. Uh, regardless of, of your understanding of card collecting, I just want you to keep this analogy in mind that you just need to build the habit of buying a little bit each time. And I would even go so far as to saying each of these packs is like a share of an ETF. So you buy them, you know, these happen to have cost 35 cents for a pack, but if you hit the card that's worth 200 or $300, that's a really good return. And the other really funny thing is, as long as I've been investing in stocks and ETFs and mutual funds, my best investments have actually been basketball cards, baseball cards, and football cards. A few cards that I bought many years ago and just held on to have been my greatest winners. And I just thought that's hilarious. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention to you, because this kind of relates, is you know the value of these cards is greatest when they're in the best condition possible and in mint condition. And the way to get mint condition is when you open up the pack, you don't bang the corners. You don't, you know, mess around with these cards so that these corners, these edges, or the face of them get destroyed. You want them to be in great condition because if you go on eBay and you want to sell one of your favorite baseball cards, a lot of times they actually require you to prove that the condition is like perfect 10 and they have rating agencies that literally you send your card into and they charge you $50 or $75 and then they rate your baseball card and they put a number rating on it and that number depends that really uh, determines how much somebody on eBay will pay you for your card so keeping it in good condition and that leads me to taking care of your health because you know we've talked a lot about investing talked about stocks and ETFs on this channel but investing in your health is really by far the best thing that you can do because you only get one body and you've got a long life ahead of you hopefully and you want to make sure so you know what are some things you can do well I'd say for starters you know try to get some exercise in doesn't have to be a crazy amount protect your knees and protect your back so I would do whatever you can to avoid things where you're gonna tear your ACL or hurt your spine or hurt your lower back a lot of people get back injuries and knee injuries from sports early in life and it really you know messes them up when they get older uh, another thing would be you know wear some sunscreen just put on a moisturizer with sunscreen because as you get older you'll find out that you can get sun damage to your skin and a good way to avoid that is just to wear some sunscreen brush and floss and go check in with your doctor each year you know basic stuff but it will help you to take care of this body and remember it's the only one you got so you really want to treat it well so i'm so glad you stuck around and watched this do not eat the gum that is 35 or 36 years old because i just don't think this classifies as food anymore so there's the best lesson don't eat very old chewing gum if you want to live a long time I'm so glad you joined me for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. 
and also hit the subscribe button. Just do it now, just subscribe, and that way when I make a new video, you'll get a little notification that Jeff wants to share something cool with you. Hope you're having a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.